Hey guys, and welcome back to Mary J's House. I am here with Ryan today, and we are doing a healthy Christmas edition cocktail. It is a healthy almond alcohol nog. Apparently to Ryan- To me, eggnog is always alcohol, so there's no need to add the word, but- <laughs> But we will go ahead and get started. So like, subscribe, and comment below, guys. Okay guys, so this was actually one of Ryan's little creations. Now, I just bought the ingredients, Ryan kind of concocted it, so it can be I done- I get credit. <laughs> So it can be done several ways, but I actually get the credit. Um, it can be done several ways. So you can use dark rum, cognac, 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 cognac. cognac. <laughs> I'm always too scared to say it because I don't know. I know I'm going to say it wrong. So <laughs> you can use rum. <laughs> Whiskey's typically not um, something that you mix with eggnog, but we actually found it to work quite well. So to get started, we have our almond nog from Trader Joe's, which actually has like a thousand times less calories, sugar, and everything than regular eggnog. And I do have to say, guys, I do not think almond milk tastes anything like regular milk, but almond eggnog tastes just like eggnog. It is crazy, except minus all the extra calories. And it's not as thick or dense. It's a lot looser. And wait, egg-free, lactose, and dairy-free, gluten-free, soy-free, vegan. Uh, for me, the important part, lactose-free. Yeah. And like we said, healthy cocktails, so. Healthy or healthier. So... In addition to that, for good measure, you gotta have a whipped cream topping and a crushed candy cane. Now Ryan will do the crushing of the candy cane. So this drink is uber simple. Just give the Should I start? almond nog a little shake. You can pour as much wait, as- Wait, wait. Gotta clean, clean for Oh you. my God. He acts as if I don't clean the, the dishes properly. Clean dishes for the, for the drinks. Okay, so. We don't need too much of this, right? Like that much? Yeah, that's All fine. Right. It's just just a little so eggnog peppermint it, dust. Including almond nog is kind of rich. So I personally prefer to do it in smaller batches because when it's cold, it's so much better. So I actually just use the cap of the Jameson as a little bit of a way to measure. So mm -hmm. I do... But how much? Uh, <laughs> I think you can put like... A cap and a... Yeah, like two, two caps. caps. Two caps, yeah. It's like a great little measuring cup. I feel like two caps is one shot. Like we've, ex no, no. Well, it depends where you go for your shots, right? Because I feel like a cap might be one ounce, but a shot's supposed to be like 1.5. And it's that extra 0.5 that matters the most. So we'll give it a little twirl to get it all nice and mixed in. We probably should have brought a mixer yeah. of some sort, but, but we right. didn't. Giving it a twirl works. Yeah, it's, it's all part of the festivity. And then... My recommendation from the last video, we're following up and actually doing. I think I said that a uh, whipped cream and peppermint <laughs> shavings topping works on any holiday drink. <laughs> He's awful at. <laughs> also, if you're doing smaller glasses, you should probably use a smaller glass with a wider mouth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Do you want some? Of course, Ryan. A little holiday cheer. Of course. This is holiday cheer. Like if you had to quantify what holiday cheer meant, it is whipped cream. With and almond peppermint, nog. And peppermint shavings on your glass of almond nog. Can you guys see that? Look at that. He's, That's he's me. Amazing. That was my idea. That was completely. Your idea. My <laughs> this boy. Oh my God. <laughs> it's never my idea. Oh cheers. My God, cheers. You don't taste the whiskey. At all. At all, at, at all. all. Yeah. Like, I, it, it just tastes like a less thick and caloric version of... You taste less calories? I can taste yeah. it. <laughs> I taste it. And you know what's funny, though? Like, Jameson's pretty... As far as whiskey goes, in my opinion, at least, like, you taste Jameson. If you just drink straight Jameson, like, you know it's Jameson. And this does a good job of masking the, the flavor oh, of yeah. the, the alcohol. You can, I, I, like, am not a whiskey person anymore. I used to and can't do it anymore but I really can't taste this. And the peppermint, when you go in to take a sip, you just get like a big whiff of peppermint. Yeah, it smells like pure peppermint, but that's the Christmas spirit right there. Mm -hmm. Delicious. It smells like Christmas, yeah. Delicious. I like it. What do you think now that it's my recipe? One to five. Because he went to the grocery store, mm -hmm. found almond nog, so like him. Anybody that came from my channel to yours knows I don't go to the grocery store, so yeah. they need to lie. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm at my computer all day. Yeah, he's at his computer all day. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed our little holiday drink mixing. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I never say those in order. I don't know why I can't get it right. And check out the recipe in and the description. Yes, check out the recipe. Which is gonna be like two things, but. Hey, it works. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a happy holiday.